Um, as I have previously written, for centuries, painting has been used to communicate ideas, stories, and emotions. Today, it is undergoing a renaissance with innovative ideas and technologies giving rise to exciting new styles and genres. Embedded in this movement, contemporary artist Gerd Renner is pushing the boundaries of what painting can be and exploring complex themes like cybernetics, post-humanism, and ecology. Interested in key issues like climate change and violence, Renner captures mental processes that are inherent in humans but whose energy and dynamics originate in nature. The artist uses both colors and dynamic compositions to inspire and delight. In this solo exhibition, we have 27 artworks, and sometimes we have a series of artworks. I will review the artworks accordingly. In this section, we have digitalized men and women. We see four works. So, the, the works KI, or Kunstliche Intelligence, Robota, Intelligence, Kunstliche, and Mensch. This work is called KI. As you see, it is quite thick to add to the materiality of the artwork. That lady behind our filmmaker Shiraz is called Robota, and we have the other two works, uh, Intelligence Kunstlich and Mensch, the big diptych. So in these works, um, we see a, a commentary on the state of technology. Later on, we're going to ask the artists about the details. So we have three other artworks. I call them digitalized weaponry. In this. Uh, one of them is in this room, the other one in the smaller one at the back. So here, there are three paintings that depict this type of imagery, war imagery, I call it. And each one offers its own unique perspective on the subject. KI on a controller is a large format diptych, this painting, the big one, you see here, that depicts the vastness of war. In this blood-stained war escape, here we don't have land escape, we don't have sea escape, I call it war escape. In this blood-stained war escape, you see a large digitalized tank, a drone, and ex some explosions with soldiers whose brains have been digitalized. This painting is persuasive in its tonality as it displays the horrors of war in a way that is both realistic and harrowing. In Killer, the other artwork in the other room, the letters KI, standing for Kunstlerisch, uh, Kunstlerische Intelligence, are used in the name of the artwork. The background is in a tint of turquoise color. Turquoise color is basically used uh, to show a feminine touch. And there is a high, high, high contrast and paradox here. The presence of two digitalized soldiers, one of whom is a child soldier, is quite striking and paradoxical. In the other artwork, the KI Fighter, you see three distinct scenes in one war escape. In the blue sky, with some drones, a digitalized soldier targeting the enemy, and the camouflage scene below him. The paradox is a striking. One common theme that emerges in these works is the dehumanization of war. Another aspect of this type of imagery is the idea of transhumanism. By equipping soldiers with AI, we are essentially making them superhuman. But this is really good. Now we go to other rooms. Before that, to the back of this room, we have some pieces. Uh, I categorize them as face recognition and observation. Gertrema's third group of artworks in this room focus on face recognition and digital control over men. In the works Fragmente, or Fragments, Tip, Pixel, and Yes, we Scan, you see the representation of scanning technology for face recognition. The faces are not seen normally, but in pieces. The identity is lost, while paradoxically it is used for identity recognition. 
The distortion is increasing the artwork fragments. The usage of foam adds to the three-dimensionality of the piece, while the real face cannot be seen. I think with the modern technology, many are inflicted with a metaphorical prosopagnosia, also known as face blindness. It means that you cannot recognize people's faces in reality. Connected to this series is the work Observation, at the back left in this room, in which you can see eyes in different directions monitoring you as if you are in a panoptica. Michel Foucault, the French philosopher, in his book Discipline and Punish, discusses how surveillance is used to control people. He writes, power is exercised through surveillance, and individuals are constantly being monitored and evaluated. In the small room, when you go out of here, you see three works, which are called gender. The forms and faces in the three pieces are the same, but the colors are different. The repeated double-sided faces in the row include male and female figures. In her groundbreaking book, Gender Trouble, Judith Butler puts forth the theory that gender is not an essential equality, is essential quality, but rather something that is performed. This has major implications for how we understand art. Art is not a true reflection of reality, but rather a performance of it. We have also two works, which I put them in Psyche series, Burnout and Help. They are somehow interconnected. In the art world, burnout is often represented by mind blindness versus order. This is what you see in the artwork burnout. Wherein the head is full of distortion, and the background of a chessboard symbolizing order. The order represents the feelings of control and stability that come with a successful career. In the artwork Help Hilfe, a man is observing his own fall in depression. He is falling at the bottom of a pit while being watched by himself. The color blue represents both the sky and the sea and is associated with open space, freedom, intuition, imagination, inspiration, and sensitivity. The painter reflects on the feelings of confusion and disorientation that can accompany burnout. The brushwork in these two pieces shows the contrast between order and chaos. We have also some works uh, which are related to aging and identity. Verostet, Verborgen, and Buntes Gemut in the small room. Using hidden faces in one way or another, Gertrude tells us about identity shift through aging. He uses rust in the Verostet. Rust is associated with images of faded glory, neglect, decay, and ruin, and that is what we exactly see in the artwork. The artwork Gebildet is drastically sarcastic and satiric. It is a good example of persiflage. It is a witty, imitative of and often critical mockery of a genre, an artistic work, or a particular state of mind in general. I prefer to write the German name of the artwork as Gebildet, with built with capital letters, showing the media influence. Um, we have also three works which are collage paintings. When creating a collage painting, it is important to focus on how to make sure your subject stands out from what is around it and in the background. Raymond glues a black and white poster on a wooden panel and then changes the nature of the photo by adding colors with the special strokes. Gerd Raymond has three experimental paintings with collage painting in this exhibition, Ursula, Metzchen, and Alps, or Le Alpes. Ursula shows Ursula Andress as Honey Ryder in the original James Bond Girl in the 1962 James Bond film Dr. No. I'm sure you are all familiar with this. She looks sensational in her famous outfit, that is the white bikini, the most famous bikini in history of art, I suppose. <laughs> in this collage painting, two colors Red and yellow outstand. Red is an extreme warm co color, symbolizing power, passion, adventure, and energy. Yellow typically is a symbol of happiness, enlightenment, joy, 
uh, and clarity. Rebbe internalizes or sell in this piece. Mention shows a girl holding a mirror, but apart from uh, part of her hand and feet and head, all the other parts are covered by color. Alps takes a photo of Alps and adds the quality of painting to it. Although it may seem paradoxical to cover art, this effect can add a sense of mystery and surrealism to the piece. There are also four separate pieces, which do not make a series or something, but they are outstanding. These are uh, borderline or grandstanding, fear or angst, intervention, and ice cold or ice cold. <coughs> In this regard, if you are looking for a painting that will really give you a sense of suspense and drama, then you want to check out Borderline of Grand Strategy. It is a cliffhanger with the protagonist seemingly about to fall off a cliff. In fear, it is downstairs. On the left, some deers are running through a fire in a forest. It looks almost like a scene from a horror movie, creating a very intense scene that is sure to leave a lasting impression on viewers. The fire is clearly seen in the original work, and in this edition, show, this edition shows the smoke and terror as well. Intervention is an excellent example of abstract art. The red color intervenes in the seclusion of the painting, making it more dynamic and eye-catching. The last book I talk about is Ice Cold, or Ice Cap, it is there in the corner, is really captivating with its light blue hue, it is one of my favorites. The spread of this color across the canvas gives off a chilling cool, cool I mean with a pun, cool means interesting and also it means cold in English. Uh, gives off a chilling cool, pun intended effect. And viewers should not overlook the small red boat amongst towering icebergs. I see at least three metaphors in this work. The red boat, the icebergs, and the river. The boat shows the journeys through life's seas, like those frozen waters. Icebergs have been associated with intuition, and the river symbolizes life, fertility, freedom, and the passage of time. In conclusion, I would like to think of Gerd Rehmer, the artist, as a seafarer, brave enough to explore new frontiers in creativity. Thank you.